Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games back with some more play to go and today we're going to take a look at a Mario mod that I'm working on as well as how easy it is to mod the sprites in this game. Right now I have the Super Nintendo filter on. Let's switch it to the user filter and show you what I've done so far. Once we click the user template, as you can see here, we have lots of Mario elements I've started working on. Some of them are a little rough around the edges, but overall, it's looking pretty cool. All right, let's start it up and I'll show you the features I have so far. So, one thing is I turned off the double jump and I made Mario's jump a little bit lower so that way he couldn't jump overly high. I made his speed kind of somewhere in the middle. Now, if you hit the question mark blocks and the spinny blocks, nothing's gonna happen. But now you can collect coins to finish a level. I'm going to eventually replace this with Mario's Fireball, but uh, you know, right now it's just a really basic Fireball. The ladders now look like vines. <laughs> There's a Galoomba that is very slow. We can go ahead and kill him. We have a lack of two up there just kind of wiggling around doing nothing. All right, if we collect the feather, we get the jetpack, but instead of a jetpack now, we actually get the cape and we can fly around. Actually, I have the cape sound effect, but it's a little quiet, uh, but it sounds better than hearing the loud jetpack the whole time. With this, we can try to take out the lack of two in the air. Another issue I see is the background. When you go up high, you'll see these little hills. So I'll probably take out these hills so it's just the Mario clouds in the background. Here's the fence, which I have as a background element now. You can also make it foreground, or you can make it in the middle. I don't know if you could jump on it if it's in the middle. I haven't tried that. I've added the Mario style water, as you can see there. All right, let's go into the editor mode. Uh, let's real quickly show you what happens when we die. So you have to have a die animation in this game. All right, so let's let this Galoomba hit us a few times. See, <laughs> Mario has that little blown up face he makes when he uh, blows up the castles and little cutscenes in Super Mario World. Let's see it one more time. That's his death animation. Here's another funny feature. If we hit play and we don't push anything, Mario will stand there and just kind of blink. If we wait long enough and he'll really shut his eyes. I see a little bit of pixel extension here and there in his hand for some reason. I have no idea why that's happening. I looked at my pixels and I don't think it's anything on my end, but it's still pretty funny that he kind of falls asleep if he stands there too long. Now you could use portals on pipes to kind of make it feel like you're going in one pipe and coming out another. Let's try that out. You have to make a special animation for portals because, you know, Mario doesn't have a portal animation in Super Mario World. Let's see, with that, you can kind of make it look like he's traveling from pipe to pipe. We have Stomp turned on too, which is a feature that's pretty cool. So if we stomp on enemies, they'll die. There's no killing animation or anything, sadly. Also added the lava. So if we add some more elements, we can make some castle type stages. We'll head over here to the lava jump on in and sadly mario dies here's a bunch of the blocks the cool thing about modding in uh play to go is that in the menu it'll show you the items as they'll look when you place them we have the different p-switch palace blocks different colors i also added some mini pipes that you can place down and i also made it to where you can place down some mini pipes the other way as well and we have our bottom pipes as well as our top pipes in different colors. So you can mix and match if you want, or you can make a long pipe like so. As you might've noticed over here, we have some different background elements, like the little arrows, and also some different bushes we can make in the background if we want. So it's a good start to the Mario mod for Play to Go. I think it's pretty cool. Let's show you how easy it is to quickly add some sprites to the game. All right, so we got this sprite from Super Mario World of Yoshi just kind of standing there. He is going to be our NPC. I have this open in a program called Ace Sprite. Now there's lots of sprite editing programs on the internet. If you just Google sprite editor, uh, whatever one you want to use is fine. I like Ace Sprite. Also not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's not a big deal. From play to goes menu, if you click open user folder, it will take you right to the template you need. Now we want the entities. We drag the entities over into a sprite, or you can open that file from your file open menu. We'll zoom out. So here is some of the elements that we have so far. So there's the Lakitu and the Galoomba. And over here is the NPC. And you could actually do an animated NPC. It looks like there's four frames of animation. So if you don't want your NPC to just stand there, we're gonna do just a static one to show you how easy it is to add these into the game. So if you had, you know, a whole animation of a character, you could put them in here. 
So when you paste your sprite in, you'll notice it's a bit smaller than the sprites that we're replacing. So we're gonna have to make it a little bit bigger. We're also gonna have to flip it horizontally. And this is where it got tricky to do Mario because he just wasn't quite the right size. So I had to mess with it a bit to get it to where he didn't look too funny. We're gonna try to do this proportionate. So when we click, we'll hold shift and drag him until he's as big as he can get. Because I think he's still gonna be a little bit smaller than Mario. He still looks pretty cool. So we're good to go as far as that goes. All right, the next step, we want to delete this guy out of the way. Now we're gonna move Yoshi over to where he was. He was one square over, copy him, like so. Now we'll copy again. Now we're gonna select all of these guys. There'll be two squares in between each one. Just gotta keep track of that, delete those. So we'll copy him, paste him, move them over two squares, put them in the same exact spot. See how he's right along the edge? And now we have Yoshi as an NPC. So here's that little thing we started with. We gotta switch it back to the user style. And once we do, there's Yoshi. So we wanna make him say something though. Hey Mario, do you watch BTG? Okay, so we'll place him down. Once you've changed the text, you wanna replace him down. We'll hit play. There's Yoshi. Hey Yosh. Hey Mario, do you watch BTG? So that shows you how easy it is to mod in your own sprites into the game. Let's go ahead and do one more thing here. So here we have our tiles. As you can see here, there's some of the Mario World ones there. All right, now for this one, to save some time, we're gonna use a sprite sheet, which was made by Viper. Give me credit. Well, thank you Viper for this awesome sprite sheet. Let's use this one. This one looks pretty cool. But we're gonna take this corner, head over to our tiles, and we're gonna place it down here. So let's replace this one right here. So since Mario sprites are half the size as the sprites in play to go one square will equal four. But it makes it super easy to resize. We'll just drag it across the empty size and all the sprites will be duplicated and it will still look nice. Copy that one, paste it over here. Now we don't have to delete all these now because it's going over all the sprites. They line up fine. So the other option here, if you want to save time, if the sprites are kind of separated like they are in this case, you could move them all together. That might save you time in the long run. Then you can get rid of these corners. So since they should be about the same, if we get this all together, and you might get lucky and the sprite sheets are already all together like that. If you do it this way, instead of doing one thing at a time, you can just delete all this, go back, select this, copy, paste it. Should take up a fourth of everything. We'll drag it down to here. Deselect, and there we go. We got that part done. Now we have a single horizontal row over here that we can do something with. We can come down here and delete that. And we can copy this, paste it and drag it up. So this is our single row. However, it doesn't have a bottom. So we can steal this dark line here, move it up, drag it across, drag it across. Now we have our single horizontal row. Now we need the vertical row going up and down. This one's easy too. We know right where it is so we can delete that. You can steal one side from here, put it right there. And then we can steal this side. This should work out all right. There we now we have a single row. And now we need a square one. This one's probably the easiest of all of them to do. So we gotta get rid of this guy. Paste, like so. And then we can paste it again, flip horizontal. Paste it again, flip vertical. Paste it again, and flip horizontal. We select, and now we have that little chunk of castle theme there. And for the last thing we'll wanna do is we'll want a castle theme background. All right, so here's another one we got from Spreader's Resource. And this one was ripped by Beam Lunser Yosho. Uh, sorry if I butchered your name, but wanted to give you a little credit there. All right, so we're gonna replace that area using this. But 
because this is not Mario and the sprites are double size. We're going to try to do about half of this. Did this right. It should look good when it repeats. If not, it's no big deal. It's something that we could fix up. This is more just showing you how easy it is to add your own sprites. Want these to not have a space between them. I think we want something like this. So let's see how that lined up. Actually looks pretty good from what I can tell. Not perfect, but it'll work. And you could obviously take your time to do this a bit better. Let's save that and head back into the game. Okay, let's pull up our background first. There we go. Actually doesn't look too bad. Let's try out our new ground pieces that we've added. Those came out pretty good. Leave a gap here. We'll move down. Add our lava. There we go. We got some Mario style lava. Uh, once again, we definitely want to have Mario. And as I was saying earlier, if you just do default options, you got a double jump. So we could double jump over. Well, we could potentially double jump over the lava. So if you right click here, we can change his jump power to about 12. Friction, if we turn it down, he'll be a little faster. We can turn off double jump, turn on permanent stomp. So let's click, hit play. So now he's a little faster, but he can't double jump. But there we go. That easily, we added some lava, some ground pieces, and a background, as well as our NPC. Once again, this is something I showed off in the other video, but if you haven't seen it, this is really cool. Grab the fence. Click on to the front and then drag your fence down. Let's go back to the regular world, hit play. Jump over the lava, jump down here. And now look, we actually go behind the fence, which is pretty cool. And there's our Yoshi. Hey Mario, do you watch BTG? I sure do. All right guys, that's gonna conclude our look at play to go modding sprites. Once again, it's a super, super easy thing to do. And on top of that, it's just a small part of an awesome, awesome game. You don't really need to mod anything in this game to have fun. There's so much in the game you can do. If you'd like to see some more mods, let me know and exactly what kind of mod you'd like to see. If you wanna see some more gameplay or possibly me playing your levels or some user levels as well, let me know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you around.